everyone. It's Jamie Zebra 23. Um, I'm on all social media. It's Jamie Zebra 23. Uh, if you'd like a personal reading, you can check out the website, jamiezebra23.com. My readings are 20 minutes, 40 minutes, and 60 minutes. I typically do your readings within 24 to 48 hours. I also have a new feature, same day readings. It's a little pricier, but you do get your readings the same day. I also have an $8 one question, one answer via email only. I typically answer you within about 20 minutes. So please be sure to write your email addresses correctly so that I can email you back fairly quickly. Also on the website, jamiezebra23.com, I've got full-size candles, do-it-yourself love kits, protection kits, prosperity kits. Crystal stones, pendants, Florida water, Florida water soap, incense sage, protection bracelets, pendulums for divination and prophecy. I also have a 10-minute tarot card reading for $25. It's not the reading special. This is something different. This is something that will be on the website every day from now on on jamiezebra23.com. Also, um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Keep in mind that the readings are general, so this is not, they are not personal readings, so they may or may not resonate. So please be sure to check out your sun, your moon, and your rising videos for further insight. Also, keep in mind... Um, that um, you must place an order before I can schedule you. So there's no need to email me and ask me what's on the website when you can simply go to the website and check yourself, right? So, um, and if you have any questions about the items on my website, you simply go to the description box of the item on the website and it tells you the times, the dates, um, when you should hear back from me, what the protocol is, all of that can simply be found by just going to the website and looking at the description. All right, guys, uh, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. Ta-ta for now. So I'm using the archetyped cards. First, I hope you guys are doing well out there. I hope life is good. This is the Sunday messages for the collective for Sunday, December 13th, 2020. Let's see what the energies are. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, so I'm gonna be using maybe about four different decks this time. So let's see what they are. Okay, so we have child, orphan, independence based on learning to go, go at it alone, conquering fear, survival, fear of survival. So for some of you, um, you know what? Maybe you've, your light attribute is the fact that you... Okay, and then let, let me just choose a few cards and then I'll go into it. Oh. So the light attribute is up, is um, is uh, upright, and then the um, the shadow. Whoops, that card fell. And the shadow attribute um, is in the reverse. Oh. Okay, so. Let me have a shapeshifter. Okay, so let me. Okay, orphan, child. Light attribute, independence based on learning to go at it alone, conquering fear of survival. So for some of you, um, your light attribute is the fact that you, you're you able to do things on your own that most people could not. You're, you're very self-sufficient, you're very capable, whether you have someone to help you or not. Um, most of you prefer to go it alone. You have, you, yeah, you guys, you guys could survive, you know you can. That definitely, um, this definitely uh, resonates with me. And then we have athlete. Light attribute, dedication and transcending physical limits, including handicaps, development of personal willpower and strength of spirit. Some of you are warriors. Some of you out there are absolute warriors, whether whether it is, like they said, in, you know, overcoming handicaps, physical, physical limitations, development of personal willpower and strength of spirit. So for some of you, you used to be a weakling. For some of you, maybe you had all of these odds stacked against you. You took all of those odds and you actually, you actually, <laughs> you really, you overcame. You, you, you overcame all of these obstacles and people see you as a success. Damsel. Light attributes. Understanding the nature of healthy romance inspires you to rely on yourself. Okay, so these light attributes, some of you may be working towards these light attributes. They may not be 100% um, there yet, but you're working towards that. So some of you are realizing that maybe there was a codependency, but the light attribute here is understanding the nature of a healthy romance. It inspires you to rely on yourself. So instead of dropping everything when love comes in, um, you guys are learning that, no, no, I still need to continue to have my own life, continue to do my own thing but include love and romance. It has to be a balance. Now we have hedonist in the reverse, the shadow attribute. 
Shadow attributes. Pursues pleasure to the detriment of health. Indulges at the expense of others. Ooh. So pursues pleasure to the detriment of health. So this could be overeating, drugging, drinking, um, having unprotected sex with everybody. Somebody's out of control. And then we have rebel in the reverse, the shadow attribute. Rejects legitimate authority out of anger. Rebels out of peer pressure or fashion. Well, that's what the cool, the cool kids are smoking and doing drugs and drinking and getting high. The cool people are racist and evil. The cool people do this. Oh, that's cool. So some of you, you have a mentality of everybody else is doing it, so I will too. Then you have addict, light attribute. Helps you to recognize and confront addictive behaviors. Some of you are able to stop something right where it starts. As soon as you see it, you're able to be like, no, 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 I'm getting out of control. This is unhealthy. So congratulations to those of you that are able to do this. And then you have mother, nurturance, patience, unconditional love, joy in giving birth to life. So joy in giving birth to life. This could be um, giving birth to your dreams. This could be like actual being a mother. This could be you mothering everybody. Some of you just have nurturing souls, nurturing spirits, and you try to mother everybody and love everybody. Whether you're a man or a woman, you can still be nurturing. So some of you, you're just that type of a person. You want to see people succeed and happy. We've got shapeshifter, light attribute, skill at navigating through different levels of consciousness, ability to see the potential in everything. So some of you, yes, some of you are, are conquering each level. The pyramid of consciousness, the pyramid of consciousness. Let me pull that up real quick. Um, I actually, uh, about five or six months ago, I went through this with someone to try to help them. Let me find it. Pyramid of consciousness. I'm Googling that so I can show you guys. Pyramid. Um, consciousness. There we go. Okay. 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 Images. Mm. Okay. Oh, come on, let me find it. Sorry, guys, I know this is boring. Sorry, I'm trying to find it. I feel like this is important. Oh, come on, where is it? Okay, this'll do for now, this'll do. So I don't know if you guys can see this. Okay, so how this works is, um, so do you see how at the top, Enlightened Masters, that's where we're all trying to get to, that's the goal. Oh, no, 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 don't you dare. They're, they're grabbing the tablecloth, the cats are grabbing the tablecloth from one end and trying to rip it down. Don't, so everything will go f flying. Oh my gosh, these cats. All they do is sabotage me. Okay, so what many of us are on the level of fear and anger, frustration and depression. Those are the sleepwalkers. That's the first level of consciousness. Paranoia, stress. They're out to get me. I know it. Oh my gosh, they're coming for me again. Ah! That's the first level. How do I get that off words? Okay, now we have seekers, curious, opening, inquisitive, inquiring. That's people who are starting to say, you know what? Maybe there is something more out there. Hmm. This is piquing my spiritual interest. Maybe I was only a part of organized religion, but you know what? I think that there's more than just organized religion. I think that there's a whole world out there of things that I don't know, and I want to know what it is. Okay? Awakened ones, now you're aware. Now you're now you're finding bliss in butterflies and dragonflies. They're like, oh look, oh that's a sign. I'm seeing the angel numbers. I can I can feel it. You're awakened. You know what's out there. Then you have light workers, connected healers, empowered guides, people who are very confident. Not not these um not delusional people who think that they're God, but healers who know that they're connected to God and. God works through them. So they take no credit because God is working through them. Connected healers, light workers, empowered gods. 
I mean, empowered guides. So yes. So then we have enlightened masters. So that's where we're trying to, that's where we're trying to get. Most of us maybe will only get to seekers, but the goal is enlightened masters. Um, so I think most of you will know what level you're on based on, you know, and there's some people that can shift from sleepwalkers to enlighten back down to sleepwalkers. So this could be a sliding scale easily. This doesn't necessarily have to be, you know, one or the other. This could be this could be a collective of all of these at different times. So don't don't freak out about that. If um, if you feel like you're not, you know, at the top, most people don't get to the to the enlightened awake. Most people don't get to the top of the pyramid until they're basically almost dead. So you got a long way to go. So I don't want anybody out there who's like 20 watching. Jamie, I'm never going to get there. Yeah, you will. But we have several spiritual awakenings and several areas of areas of development. Um, the most common. So what what triggered me during all of my spiritual when I knew I was there, when I knew I was getting there. Is when I realized that we're all one, when I realized whether you're black, you're white, you're Asian, you're gay, you're straight, you're rich, you're poor, we're all the same. There's there's nobody that deserves more than the other. That's when um that's when I felt something inside of me really really shift. Once I realized that you know there are no borders. You know nobody's kids deserve to be locked in cages and certainly not because there's an invisible line that someone created. <laughs> that man created that that's why these people are not human no that um and if somebody does believe that you maybe need to do some inner healing and of course i am a work in progress myself but when i knew i was getting close close to something positive is when i realized oneness and that was maybe only about five years ago so that's only recent you know you know, ask me maybe maybe uh, 20 years ago I probably would have been a Trump supporter because I wasn't enlightened I, I I didn't realize that we're all the same you know sadly I, I was I wasn't a very nice person 20 years ago um at all I, I had no kin kindness or compassion really I was not a very good person not proud of myself about that but um what I am proud is I've come a long way and I know a lot of you maybe have similar stories to mine and you guys are coming. You guys are coming along. You're getting there. That's the point. Is we're we're ever evolving. So just because somebody's at one position today does not mean that you could have you don't won't have an epiphany in a week from now and skyrocket to the top. So let's move on to the next deck. So I wanted to add an educational part of this video because you guys ask me questions all the time. So let's talk about stones. So what you can do with um with black tourmaline there's lots of ways that you can get this you can get this in um like you can get like a bag of the chips the little chips which are great for gritting so i i usually just put mine so i break mine i'll put mine in like a bag with like a hammer like a sock with a hammer and then i'll break it into little pieces but these little pieces are good to grid your home so you put these in the corners of every room of course, you know, you've got to be careful if you've got babies or pets. Um, be careful with the sizes. So if you know you've got, you know, babies or pets or things like that, you want to probably want to just grid it with something like this. They can't really swallow something that size. So it depends on how you're living, depends on safety measures, safety first, of course. Um, black tourmaline is a good way to grid your home, even selenite. Um, when it comes to selenite, selenite absorbs negative energy, but it transmutes it into positive energy. It doesn't hold it. It transmutes it into positive energy. Let me go get my, I don't have selenite right here. So I'm telling you about something that you can't see. Let me go get it. Okay, so this is selenite. All of this is selenite. So what you can do is, again, with a hammer, you can take this because selenite is very brittle. It, the pieces chip off very easily, so you wouldn't take much to, to break something like this. But selenite, um, 
It's good to grid your home with as well. It's good to sleep with. You know, don't get hurt because some of the edges are sharp. It is brittle. You could put it in a pillowcase and then turn the pillowcase over. There's so many things that you guys can do with stones and crystals, even seashells. When I meditate, I um, line myself up with some seashells. Sometimes I'll just hold them in my hands. Um, seashells are really good to meditate with. I feel like it's it, it gives an extra layer of cleansing for me. You know, everybody works with different things. Maybe for some of you, it's a shape. Maybe for some of you, it's a color. Maybe some of you, if you're like holding like a little silk piece of uh, cloth that's a certain color, maybe that's that's what what assists you and in, in your needs. Um, so let's talk about clear quartz. I'll just leave that out. Okay, clear quartz. So clear quartz magnifies. It magnifies whatever energy. So if, if you're doing a meditation uh, for cleansing, for opening up the chakras, it'll maximize that energy. Let's say um, you have clear quartz and you're um, trying to uh, manifest money. This will give make it more powerful. If you hold this, sometimes you can stick it in your bra. Um, some people I know, they will take a little, um, one of these little satchels and they'll add all of the stones that they, they feel that they need for the day. And what they'll do is they will um, carry it in their pocket or carry it on them. If they've got like a little side purse, they'll put it in the side purse. If they're wearing a jacket, they'll put the little satchel in their pocket and do that. So rose quartz attracts love, um, romance. It also um, helps to strengthen the heart chakra. Um, Rose quartz is a good, so it's good to meditate with this. Let's say you're doing a love and romance meditation or some Reiki for love and romance to draw on your soulmate. Um, it's good to maybe have some of this. if you, you don't have to, but you could. Even essential oils will work. Even flowers, you know, taking a bath with flowers or just having fresh flowers around you. Even if you just take the, um, you could take like a flower and like mash it up with a little bit of like, um, with a little bit of essential oil or with a little bit of anointing oil and just, you know, rub it on your chakra points and then meditate like that. Even just smelling the fragrance can help. Um, there's so many different ways for you guys to cleanse and clear yourselves, also to manifest, to do a lot of different work. So, you know, don't underestimate if you're, so if your body's calling you to do something, if your body's telling you to do something, usually listen to your body listen to your energy because everybody's different so these things they work for me but let's say you try it it may not work let's say some somebody else tries it they'll be like oh my gosh jamie it works great so you guys have to do what's best for you and how things work for you um you know crystals and stones can be expensive so i'm not telling you guys to not pay your rent this month and to go buy crystals and stones you don't have to do that um you know you can get one stone at a time um you know, probably don't go, probably don't buy stones where everybody's been rubbing their hands all over them because their energy will be on it. So you probably don't want to do things like that. Like I try not to, um, I just don't, I, I don't want to talk about that because I, I don't want to make anybody upset and be like, now people won't buy from me because you said that. So I don't want, I don't want to just, um, stones that are less touched are better. Like you don't want every Tom, Dick and Harry going in and Oh, I'm going to hold this in my hand and see what the vibration is. They're putting their vibration on that stone. So just try not to go somewhere where everybody can pick and pick through stones. Just try not to do that. I know I've heard before, stones choose you. No, sometimes the devil chooses you. Pick, pick the, go in with a clear intention and pick the damn stone that you want. Try not to let metaphysical items choose you. Um... Because you don't know whose energy is on it. And you don't know why they want to go home with you. So let's just all use common sense. You know, let, let's, you know, a little, little bit. You don't have to. I mean, you, everybody's got free will. You don't have to. But just, you know, be careful. Like, you don't want to have, you don't want to be buying pendulums that everybody's been rubbing and touching and testing out. You know, you don't know who the hell they conjured up. So just, you know, sometimes it's good to get things straight from a warehouse where nobody's been touching it. But that's my opinion. <laughs> Amazon's a good place to buy these metaphysical items because they usually just sit dormant in a warehouse for a long time. I like that. I, I don't want I don't want hundreds and hundreds of people rubbing up against the items that I that I need.
That's just me though. That's just me. All right. So let's move on to the next part of this. Any messages for the collective for December, Sunday, December 13th, 2020 to carry over for the week for the collective. Let's see. So we got fair, fair woman dealings or relationships with a woman with blonde, gray or white hair. Well, family wishes come true. So somebody in somebody with blonde hair, with uh, gray hair, white hair or with fair skin. A wish could be granted, a dream could be coming true. Um, maybe it has to do with a family. So this could be, you know, pregnancy. This could be um, somebody being healed. This could be a healing. Heart, somebody's heart could be getting healed. Love, deep affection, caring. This could also be a reconciliation happening. Okay. Okay, so <clears throat> they're letting you guys, okay. So now we've got spear, heartache over what you no longer have. And then you have temporary problems. So I feel like for some of you, if there is relationship issues, there, there could be some heartache right now, but it's saying your family wishes will come true. So if reconciliation is what you want, it shows that, that that will be the outcome, but there could be some issues right now to where you think that that may not happen. <clears throat> and then you have fly, a period of ill health and depression. This could also be somebody's heart literally healing their heart. Somebody's got heart problems or health issues. There, there could be a, I am not a medical doctor. I am not a physician. If you are not feeling well, please seek out uh, medical attention. I am not a physician. Let's see. Key. Successful outcome to your problems. Yeah, whatever's going on with you guys, whether this is a health scare or broken heart, it shows there will be reconciliation, but there will be also healing. Club. Someone will try to make you do something against your will. Okay. Let's see what this card is that fell. <clears throat> Harp. Great happiness. So someone will try to make you do something against your will. Don't do it. Let's see. Pale. Time to get out of a situation. There's somebody weighing you guys down. See this card, successful outcome to your problems and great happiness, but look what's in the way. Someone will try to get you to do something against your will and then we have pale, time to get out of the situation. This and this go together, these two go together, but you got opposition here, get this out of the way. Time to get out of a situation. If that's a person or a situation, get the hell out of there. Now let me see what else. Dark woman. Dealings or relationship with a woman with dark complexion or hair. So that may be a situation some of you need to get out of. Or a person you need to get away with. Get, get away from. Oh, and then we got more. Somebody else. So for some of you, it's this person. For others of you, it's this older man. Dealings or relationship with an older man. For some of you, it could be this woman you need to get the hell away from. And for others of you, it's this older man. Let me see. Somebody standing in the way of your potential. And then yet uh, ink pop, problems to be resolved. Interesting. Let's see what else? Oh, we got another one. <laughs> Dealings or relationships with a man with dark hair or dark complexion. Whew, problems to be resolved. So for some of you, this could literally be Three people that could cause you trouble or that are causing you trouble. For some of you, it's one. It's one of one of these three. But it's saying that if you get them out of your way, get them out of your life, it, it'll it'll stop the drama. And then we have waiting for news, a package, or a letter. Lighthearted, carefree time. Some of you have news that would that would allow you to have some peace. This could be news about money triumph over troubles and obstacles. I think this is a settlement or some sort of money coming in that some of you will, will be able to have a sigh of relief, maybe even go on a vacation, maybe take some time off, do things that you want to do. Okay. Now we got some other stuff here. Tree, affairs with your family, 
funnel, a period of frustrations, lessons to be learned, and then you have finger warning you of a problem either now or in the near future. So you guys could have problems with your family. There could be a period of frustration, a period of um, lessons to be learned, aka karma. Let me see what else. Torch. Spiritual development, enlightenment, awareness, and understanding. Yeah, some of you may be going through the dark soul of the night. But it'll turn into great passion with tulip. So I'm going to put these ones back and then I'm going to go for the next um, pile. There's, there's two piles to this deck. I love this deck. It's the tea leaf fortune cards. I got these off of Amazon by Ray Hepburn. I don't know if you guys can see because uh, when, I, when I'm done editing, it makes the, the video really small and it cuts things out. So I hope you guys are able to see. But it comes with two fairly big stacks of uh, cards. A lot of cards for, for that deck. So, no. Okay, for messages for the collective for Sunday, December 13th, 2020, to carry over. September. September, danger, especially in money matters. Some of you need to be cautious about the month of September. Um, so, so things could go great, but they're warning you about some issues that could happen in uh, a two-faced friend. Be careful. Sept in September, danger, bear, danger, especially money matters. Two-faced friend. Some of you jot that down on your calendars. If you guys already bought your 2021 calendars, jot that down about, sep I would, I would jot it down for August and then, um, keep an eye open in, um, in September. Oh no, a card fell. I got it. Okay. Let's see what else. Rooster. An arrogant, boastful person you should not cross. Okay. Be careful of the friends that you guys currently have. Um, or for new friends that come. Just, yeah, don't, just be careful. Okay. Grasshopper. Situation in the balance that requires careful handling. So this rooster card could be something current. So this is upcoming, but this rooster card, I feel like is something current. So um, rooster, an arrogant, boastful person you should not cross. And then we have grasshopper. Situations in the balance that require careful handling. Flag, do, don't be tempt, do not be tempted to lower your standards. Frying pan. Trouble and accusations. I don't like this. Be careful. Somebody could be accusing you of something that you didn't do. Somebody could be angry with you for something you didn't do. Okay, now we got chair, an empty chair. Someone is leaving your life. Let's see what else. February. Somebody's leaving your life in February. Okay, unsettled times, the need to plan ahead. So some of you are living with someone, there, there may be a breakup that happens and you're gonna have to find a place to live or if some of you are living off of someone, maybe their finances are gonna be taken away from you. Yeah, your, your relation. So let's say some of you are single today right now. Whoever you're with in around February, um, it may end. So like, let's say you meet somebody tomorrow, it could possibly be a temporary situation. So don't, Put all your eggs in one basket. You know, don't sell all of your property. Don't sell your house to go move across the country with someone else. Because come February, the relationship may be over. So be careful. Now you have Caterpillar. Things will not always be this way. A change is coming. And then you have Arrow. You are on the right path regarding some aspect of your life. Ear, good news is coming. Pig, be aware of greed. Dagger, fears, worries, tense situation. And then cane, pay attention to your health. So some of you may be overindulging on food, drugs, alcohol. Be aware of your health. And then we have... 
broom, new home, new attitude. Maybe some of you are going to change your health or there's going to be a change in your home. That's for the better. Okay. Oh. And then we have seahorse, family matters. Okay. It came out again. I put it back in, but it came out again. Okay. So we have wreath. Sorrow over a loss. This could be sorrow, family matters. So this somebody could be getting a new home due to a loss of a home. There could be a fire. There could be loss of the people in a home. Um, something could be happening where there's a loss. But it's saying um, it's all going to be fine. So let's see what's next. It's Jamie Zebra 23. Sorry to interrupt the reading, but if you guys are interested in a personal reading, you can simply go to the first 30 seconds of this video and it tells you um, where to make a purchase, jamiezebra23.com. It tells you about the same day reading, so you don't have to wait. Same day readings. Also an $8 one question, one answer via email only. I typically answer you within about 20 minutes. Plus I've got tons of products on the website for protection, for cleansing, for energetic healing, all sorts of goods on the website, jamiezebra23.com. You simply go to the first 30 seconds of the video and it will explain all of this stuff. No need to email me to ask me if I do personal readings when you can simply go to the first 30 seconds and also the description box says it too. jamiezebra23.com. Enjoy the rest of your reading. Hi everyone, it's Jamie Zebra 23 so I have a fans-only account if you guys want to skip over there and um, check it out. It's uh, pretty much for guys. Um, it's not that raunchy, but it may be a little bit of fun. Jamie Zebra 23 touch off for now.